Basir Ahmed is a translator who worked for Ohio-based Mission Essential personnel in his home country of Afghanistan. His job was to travel with U.S. soldiers around the country into remote provinces like Nuristan in the middle of winter, helping the troops to communicate with villagers who spoke no English. The U.S. soldiers were pleased with the work that Basir had done for them and gave him a number of letters of recommendation and certificates of appreciation. On October 10, 2008, a suicide bomber blew up an explosive-filled vehicle near the U.S. military convoy Basir was traveling in, knocking him unconscious. It took him over a month to recover sufficiently from the shrapnel wounds in his scalp and the severe burns from which he still suffers to this present day. I can't eat anything with my right hand to get some food and eat it because it, that much I can bend it. I cannot bend it like See, I cannot. But I still practice on it to get some food and eat it by right hand. Within a few weeks, a company site manager told him to report back to work. During the, the rest, she forced me to, you have to come on the job. Otherwise, I'm going to fire you. I don't need you. We got a lot of interpreters back outside the door. I say, okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. After one month, she sent the, the invoice, like a payment. I saw my payment is about like $565 for a month. Believe me, I'm going to do a job. I went every day to the job. And she sent me like $565. In January 2009, the company fired him and he is now unemployed, despite the fact that the soldiers with whom he worked continue to vouch for him. Other former Mission Essential personnel translators like Samim say that they too have been treated badly by the company. As I work for the many other companies, they have not done anything for the, for the interpreters. They don't care about the interpreters, especially the local interpreters. They treat them very badly. Samim says that Mission Essential pays its 1,500 translators a lower salary than the company that they replaced, Titan Corporation of San Diego in California. In Titan time, uh, actually the salary was very good, the pay was very good, and they were uh, uh, treating the interpreters, I mean, uh, very good. But uh, in MEP time, I think they don't really care well, that uh, they are the people who work hand in hand and shoulder to shoulder with the US Armed Forces. They sacrifice their precious life. They left their family away just like the US Armed Forces soldiers. They don't really care that, hey, these guys are targeted. And yeah, they'll, they'll work for 20, one year and they'll get that salary, but they'll be targeted for 20 or for the rest of their lives by the insurance, by the terrorists and by the bad guys. Samim was fired by Mission Essential personnel in July 2008 for allegedly getting into a fight with another translator. He denies the charge. Unlike Basir, he was not injured, so he quickly found a better paying job with another contractor. Yet injuries and unemployment are not the only problems that these translators face. Believe me, my family is too scary right now. And one day I saw some night later from the Taliban. They put it in our door. You are three brothers work with the U.S. Army. Quit your job. Otherwise, I'm going to kill your whole family. Uh, if we are fired or we, if we stop working uh, anymore, so it's a kind of dangerous for us to stay in Afghanistan. Even if even we are working, uh, you know, it is dangerous. If, uh, you know, any insurgent, uh, they, like Taliban, Al-Qaeda, if they come to know that, he is the one who is working with Americans, so they'll not let us go. They'll kill us. 19-year-old Akbar Farooqi speaks from experience. His older brother, Murtaza Farooqi, the father of one-year-old Najma, was killed on September 9, 2008, while on patrol with the U.S. Marine Corps. After a few weeks, so I decided to work to, to lead the family, because uh, my dad is sick. and So I went to the company edges so I, I passed a test there so as they knew that I'm Murtaza's brother so they uh, hired me they gave me a job in Kabul. On an average at least one mission essential personnel translator is killed and at least two others are severely injured every month. Many Afghan translators say that they want the company to provide much better support for them and their families when they are injured. Treat them while they get injured very well just like you treat your own soldiers 
if they are not treating very well, if you can, if you cannot treat them very well, send them to foreign countries like to Germany or other countries for treatment, and please uh, uh, pay them for their medication. Because if you and pay them, they're gonna spend all their money that they earned it for for the for the years that they work for the US Arm, for the US Armed Forces. And please, done or uh, get done or please uh, help them out in their SIV process. Uh, get their uh, special immigration uh, visa process and uh, get their immigration packet done and get uh, all uh, those interpreters out of here who deserve to get out of here. For Corp Watch, this is Perthep Chatterjee with Ronald Nobusakamoto.